The following is a special presentation of Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, alternating the reality of sports and entertainment since 2020. Welcome to the latest installment of the Professional Wrestling Tour. We are in Dothan, Alabama for a match between local favorite Lynn Rossi challenging for the World's Heavyweight title currently held by John Pezik. So we'll see how long Rossi can last. Rossi was a favorite in the Nashville circuit and Continental is kind of a conglomeration of the Gulf Coast the old Alabama circuit and Knoxville, Tennessee. So it's like a big, if it were a real life circuit, it would go from like Panama City to the Appalachians or Pensacola to the Appalachians or the Gulf Coast up into the Smoky Mountains. It's kind of a combination of Continental, Knoxville, and Smoky Mountain. Uh, so it covers a lot of ground. And let's show you first that this is sponsored by Pauly Talks Wrestling, the podcast, just finished doing bonus episode four, which will be available on PayHip tomorrow as I record this, tomorrow being April 11th, where I look at the 1981 bout between Dory Funk Jr. and Mike Graham from the Sportatorium in Tampa, Florida. It was an Australian rules match, and it was very interesting booking. So uh, we also have our Polytox Wrestling free episode, episode 6, where I try to speculate a little bit as to what the wrestling world will look like a year from now and go over the WrestleMania results and the early week results in AEW and the WWE. So Polytox Wrestling, check it out. And with that, I will bring up our roll call of champions. And we have a change, and this just happened yesterday in PWT. Jerry the King Lawler and Bill Superstar Dundee are your brand new world tag team title holders. They were out of the Tampa circuit, and they just knocked off the Funk Brothers, Dory Jr. and Terry, uh, managed by Gary Hart. So now Bill Dundee and Jerry Lawler hit the road. Jerry Lawler may have a title defense uh set for him against Taz because Lawler at one point was a junior heavyweight title holder in uh, in the circuits he was in so that makes him eligible to go for the junior heavyweight title so it could be Taz and Lawler in Memphis I haven't I haven't booked the uh, booked Memphis yet so Lawler would be a top contender might not get it might not get it so if if Lawler were to win the title then he would they would have to give up the tag team title holders because that would take priority the world heavyweight champion is the top belt junior heavyweight the second top belt because that's how it used to be in the old days and then the world tag team titles are third on the list so we would have we would go to mid-south and all the teams in mid-south and all of the reigning champions prior would be eligible for a battle royal. That, that, just saying, if that were to happen in Mid South uh, to find the new champ. So we will be back with our main event, Rossi versus Pezik, and we will delve into what happened, the seven undercard bouts on the card, right after this very brief 15 second commercial break. You're watching the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims YouTube channel. If you like the video you're watching, feel free to use the Amazon link provided. I'll put it in the description down below. And welcome back, everybody. We're getting ready for our title match between Lynn Rossi, who was the top contender in Continental, and he uh, gets the shot. Well, the wonderful thing about a small sample size, the way we put these rate rankings together, if you have the superior one-loss record, even if you're one to know, you get the shot. And he will face John Pezik here in just a moment. 
let's go through the card as it occurred in Dothan, Alabama, in PWT, the Continental Circuit. Great Sasuke from Japan comes over, beats Austin Idol, sending him the free agency. Saz Sasuke wins a minute seven with a flying headbutt. Flying headbutt after being derided by Idol, who grabbed the house mic and called Sazoke a quote unquote goof. The Barbarian with a stunning win over Brad Armstrong, 11.36, a clothesline. Frank Sexton and Dennis Condry go to a 20 minute draw. And Bob Armstrong vanquishes the Mongolian Stomper, 6.31, an inside cradle. Jarrett and Yamamoto, Jerry Jarrett and Tojo Yamamoto, who were a top tag team in the 60s and 70s in what was called then the Mid-America Circuit, which was basically Memphis, Nashville, and points north. They defeat the Wright Boys uh, by DQ 1824. Randy Orton with a win over Robert Fuller with an RKO. Wrestling 2 loses by DQ to James Storm. When Dennis Connery stormed the ring, in fact, let me write that down as a feud going for May. And it was two Connery. And I think I know, I, the self a month from now will know what to do. <laughs> uh, when he sees that, or so I hope we'll have a grudge match between those two next week and next month in Continental. So this brings us to Pezik and Rossi, and we'll do the trade hold and comparison here. Rossi does not have the stamina to last with John Pezik, or so it appears he has a 52.5 stamina rating, and stamina uh, for Pezik at 94-4, meaning when he runs out of stamina, Rossi does, the uh, pin rating will keep going up, uh, so if Rossi is going to get Pezik, he's probably going to have to get Pezik immediately. But Rossi was known as the dropkick specialist, had a great career in Nashville, just recently passed away in the last few years. Uh, I think he had an automobile accident curtail his career, and he wound up doing commentary in the Nashville circuit uh, for uh, Goulas, for Nick Goulas. Up, and it was part of the NWA for a long, long time when Memphis, when it broke away from Memphis and Jerry Jarrett started the CWA, the CWA was basically its own uh, circuit and they would have their own world champion separate from the NWA and the AWA. And that was in the late 70s. But of course, they would bring in the AWA champ in the 80s. And Jerry Lawler uh, actually got a run at the world title winning winning the belt off of Kurt Henning in the I think it was 87 or 88 in Memphis uh, but they had a dispute over money and he was stripped of the title and it got all kinds of messy so off we go Rossi versus Pezik and a legal neck hold by Len Rossi to start our bout and we go to flying double axe handle by Len Rossi. Rossi would also be eligible for the junior heavyweight championship, currently held by Taz. Legal chop by Rossi. Could get an early pin here. No. No such luck on John Pezik. Neck hold by Len Rossi. And Pezik continues to take liberties in his relentless attack on Len Rossi, paying no mind to the referee. Uh, Pezik has lost a lot of bouts recently. We're using his Pioneer card, but he's been getting by on that champion's advantage rule. Neck hold by Pezik. Punches by Pezik. Series of punches. And Rossi almost down a stamina level. Rossi coming back. No, it is Pezik with a legal power move of a choke slam. I wonder who taught him that. An illegal throw, and Rossi already down a stamina level at 331 into this bout. It's not boding well for Mr. Len Rossi. Especially match action, as this is a defend the title bout. Pezik nailing Rossi as he tries to re-enter the ring, knocking him back to the arena floor. And Pezik having little trouble uh, grappling with Rossi, picking him up. It's almost like a lift and carry uh, video here. 
<laughs> and an arm hold by Pezik. And another arm hold. Illegal punches by Pezik. Pile driver countered. Here comes Rossi. Beautiful drop kick. Almost got him. Almost got him. He got a two on that third count where a one would have made Lynn Rossi the world champion. My goodness. Speed move countered. Here comes Pezik. Punches by Pezik, followed by an arm hold. So we have had a little bit of excitement here. As that was a 2.9 count on to the champion, a Pezik. And we're using his, as I was saying, we're using his Pioneer card, which makes him more beatable. Illegal punches by Rossi. And now Pezik trying to plead for the crowd to stop uh, with the booze, but to no avail. Pezik should wor probably worry about his opponent in the ring. Pezik with a 56-point lead. Face rate countered. Here comes Rossi. Side roll, but no, not even a one count on that. Strategy card used, uh, countered by Rossi. Foreign object on Len Rossi. Almost ended the bout right there, but Rossi, using excellent ring awareness, foils the attempt, places the leg on the bottom rope. But Rossi's got to be seeing stars. And uh, Pezik's going for that toe hold. Didn't get it there. But Rossi has now dropped another stamina level. He does not have great stamina, so that's why I said you got to get him early. Got to get Pezik early, and he nearly did. And Pezik continues to kick and stop Rossi on the ring apron, preventing him from going into the ring. Chop by Pezik. Sunset flip on Rossi. Does not get it. And he's opened up a huge lead on Rossi now. 117 points of damage at the 12-10 mark. So this is pretty much, a, with the, the exception of that one moment Rossi had, it's been a very one-way traffic kind of bout. Rossi with the body slam. Let's see if he can. And he's choking. He's choking the champion. John Pezik fighting fire with fire here. As he knows, Pezik is not above using some illegality. Arm hold for Rossi, followed by some sticking and moving. Inside cradle. Pezik's using the ropes. Hey, ref! And Rossi kicking out. Series of drop kicks countered. Pezik just swatting Rossi's uh, in the air. Using that drop kick like he was a fly. Illegal punches countered. Body slam by Rossi. He's got to get something going immediately here. Illegal punches by Pezik. Neck hold by Pezik. And a thumb to the throat. This could lead to a pin, and it does. So Rossi, no shame in what he did in the bout. He nearly got the world champion. But it's going to be John Pezik winning in 17 minutes and 27 seconds. And Pezik, the match got a three and a half star rating. Pezik with a 107 point lead at the end of the bout. So there you have it, folks. We have played out our PWT bout for the week. We will hopefully be back with you Easter Sunday with the latest installment of the PWT. This has been Big Polly coming to you, wishing you well. Godspeed and God bless as always. And we'll do it again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody.